Hey everybody, Jonathan Rose. Today we're gonna to be talking about interest rate futures, bond futures. Right now with the Fed moving, in my opinion, bond futures or interest rate futures are the best futures trade out there. I've got a ton of videos. I got a whole playlist that can educate you on how to trade bond futures, how to trade interest futures. Right now, I wanna go over an example because when these trades present, they are extremely high probability trades. So in front of you, I pulled up just an Excel spreadsheet and here I have like a proprietary tool. I'll explain exactly how this works. But the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna talk about the yield curve because there's twos, there's fives, there's tens, 18s and 30s. Now there are futures to trade each point of this yield curve. So for here, you could trade the ZT, here you could trade the ZF, the ZN, the ZB, and the UB. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, well, why did you make ZB an 18 year when it should be a 30 year? And the answer to that is gonna be, if you look under the hood of what the ZB really is, it's an 18 year. That's the average duration of the ZB. And if you want to check on that, pull up TLT. TLT is the ETF. They're pretty much 95% correlated. They are so darn close to being the same thing. So ZT to two years, ZF is really closer to a four year. ZN is really closer to a seven year. ZB 18 year, UB 30 year. Now in this example, I'm going to take these away because I'm just going to talk about this portion right here. Let's just talk about yield. Seven years out, 18 years out, and 30 years out. Now, as traders, instead of speculating or guessing on the direction of interest rates, the way that professional traders trade is they trade the yield curve. So you have the ability to trade ZN all the way out to ZB. And for that spread, that's called the null. And on my little tool here, the null is the white. So if you look at the white, the white is the null. It's ZN minus UB. So really what it is, it's the difference between 30-year yield and 7-year yield. So that white line has 23 years of duration. So if I put the duration here on that spread, it's got 23 years, okay? And all I did there was UB minus ZN. Now we could look at the ZN against the ZB. This one, the duration is gonna be 18 minus seven. There's 11 years. And then the ZB, the UB, 30 minus 18, 12 years of duration, okay? ZN, ZB is going to be the light blue. ZB, UB is going to be the green on the chart. So again, the, this is called the null. It's the difference between ZN and UB. This is the null. This is the knob or notes over bonds. This is the bub, often called Grandma Bubby. Uh, so this is going to be spread name. Okay. So what you see here is the white line is trending lower, right? Or, or trading lower. It's not really trending lower. It's trading lower. What I want you to understand is that white line is the null, but part of that white line is the blue line and the green line. So the blue line is the first 11 years. The green line is the next 12 years. So right now, and why this is such a really straightforward, kind of simplistic trade, is the null is going lower, the knob is already low, and the bub is kind of, is kind of still elevated, right? So the bub is very, very expensive. So I have advanced bond students. We are short the bub and we are long the knob because there's a major disconnect between these two. 
So you need to understand that if this null trades all the way down here, like it's doing today, and the knob, or the, excuse me, the knob is all the way down here, like it is, the bub, it can't be down here, right? Because it's part of the bigger picture. It's got to be up here. And that's what's going on right now. So if this continues to fall and falls down here, and this doesn't fall at all, and this stays the same, this has to, without a shadow of the doubt, it has to trade lower. So that's why we are short the bub. We're also long the knob. What this is, next level, this is getting short the bond butterfly, the ZB butterfly. And this position is short ZB, long ZN, and long UB. So that would be short, that would be long if you put on both those trades. And this is what I teach in my bond bootcamp program. I'll leave a link below in the comments if you wanna learn more about that bond bootcamp program. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal trade. And then after that, we have advanced bonds for those who are trading bonds more actively. I hope this made sense. A lot to learn in this trade, but that's why right here is a really, really special opportunity. Thanks, Jonathan. Any questions you got, throw them in the comments. I'll reply to each one of you. Thanks, guys. Jonathan Rose, Active Day Trader.